Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 24 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. If you haven't watched the previous videos, either you watch the video or download the project files, links in the description. In the last video we designed our product view page, the problem is we have multiple images for products, so we need to display all products image. Here we can use Bootstrap Carousel, a slideshow component for cycling through our images. Let's start, head over to Bootstrap documentation for Carousel documentation. Copy the code. Now open products view page, here paste the code inside our image division. And change image URL to our product images. Now refresh the page and you can see that our normal thumbnails are now carousels, you can cycle through all images with next and previous handles. Our design is perfect, now let's make this carousel dynamic with repeater control. Add a repeater control inside carousel division. Now add an item template to repeat our image division. Delete other image divisions. Now we need a data source to our repeater, here we are showing all product images here, so in this page we need product ID to fetch the product details from the database. To do this in products page when we click a product it will redirect the page to the product view page including product ID as query string. So open products page. Surround product division with anchor tag, and add a link to the product view page, also add product ID as query string. Now if we hover mouse in each product it will act as a link to the product view page. We don't want that underline that comes with anchor tag. Add text decoration none to resolve this problem. Now if we click the product it will redirect to products view page and you can see that the product ID is available in query string as PID. Now let's find our repeater with product images, create a new function. First store product ID from query string. Write code to bind repeater. Change type to text. Write our query to fetch images from TBL images with product ID. Now let's bind each item with eval function with DB parameter.
We don't need caption. Let's run products page click any product. Here all images are shown, that's because, when we look at the bootstrap documentation, it states that only one active image element is needed, otherwise all images show like this, here all our tags are active. To avoid this issue we can use a function to get active class only to the first element. To know the element is first we can use repeater item index. So create a function that gets the item index from repeater and return active class name for first element. Now call this function inside repeater where we want to print active class. Now refresh the page, it's perfectly binded all our images. We know we have 5 images for each product so we can add 2 more indicators. Next is if anyone comes to this page without the PID as query string we can redirect the user to products page, otherwise the page will not show product details. Another case is if we delete image name from db or the db missing a image, the image tag shows like this. To avoid this issue we can use one error tag. So add a no image to the image folder. Add one error tag, refresh the page. Now you can see the no image is loaded if there is no image available. In the next tutorials we can bind the rest of product details. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot, thank you.